today we're in Zimbabwe! Yo, so we just landed today. We had lunch. We saw our uh, place of sleepage. Now we're just walking around. And I'm with... Introduce yourself, Claire and Anna. Zimbabwe was pretty cool. So first we went off to Victoria Falls. We got a low down on everything that was happening there and then we went in and oh, it was just gorgeous. We walked all along the Zimbabwe side, which is definitely a much better view. You could see rainbows at certain points. Guys, this is so beautiful, especially in real life. It was so beautiful, especially in real life. Um, when Livingstone got there, he named it after the Queen of England at the time, which was Queen Victoria. There's about 15 viewing points. Stay hydrated, kids. We walked all along it. We stopped. And you could know where you were at based on all the markers. There were so many of them. Victoria Falls is also known as Mosi o Tunya, which means the smoke that thunders. That's the bridge that you cross over to get into Zambia. These are two guides, Tomoy and Paida. They were amazing. You went the tour at the little gift shop. Then we went over to the Three Monkeys, where we had lunch, which is kind of by a train station, super cool. Then we went to the Crocodile Farm. We went to the little crocodile nursery, where we got to hold little crocodiles. Then we went over to the Snake Pit, so the guy explained to us all about them. Some of them were venomous, some of them were super, super dangerous. But all species of pythons are non-poisonous, so they are totally safe to hold. That's a frog. And then we went over to the older crocodiles. These are like the teenagers. Then we went over to the big ass crocodiles. And then the guys even went and fed them. I play with them a little. And then they let us feed them. I was not very good at it. But it was <laughs> kind of scary, but super fun at the same time. Eating. Oh. <sighs> And the guides totally <laughs> teased the crocodiles. <laughs> no. Nice. That's a lion in a tree taking a nap. Then we left. You could see all these animals by the roadside. Those are impalas. Then we had dinner at night at this place called Indabele. <laughs> Me just showing off my outfit for the next day. Day two in Zimbabwe and we're going to the Vulture place. So we went to this place called the Vulture restaurant which is in a hotel. This hotel is so gorgeous it has the most amazing viewing point. Um, when we went down for the Vultures they explained to us about how they're endangered and how um, a lot of the times these vultures they'll go to eat carcasses that have actually been poisoned by poachers and then they end up dying or they take the meat back home to their babies they regurgitate the meat and then their babies also end up dying so they're definitely endangered watch it it's like a eating frenzy and like the funniest thing was that there was like these storks there so the storks were even like stealing the food they kind of eat everything whole their body digests it and then they would puke back out like the bones that was the storks then we went over to this cute little village. We met the chief of the village and his wife. We went down to this area, which is like an events hall. So the chief was telling us all about his village and how there was like a wedding just there. That's pumpkin soup. They fed us. We had a uh, salsa. We had spinach with peanuts and we had chicken and like the classical ways to eat it with your hands. Then there was like this little area full of little souvenirs that you could buy. Classical music. Here's me pretending that I know what the heck I'm doing. This shot, check it out. He totally panned around me. Good job, Paida. And the chief was showing us the drums and other items around. We checked out some of the little houses. This little room belongs to two girls. They weren't there because they were at school. Dried meat farm animals everywhere. This is the kitchen. The females were hanging out there. On the roof is where they collect all the soot and charcoal, which is really good for tummy aches. The guides took a fruit from the tree. It calls milk. 
I don't like it. Then we went to Shearwater Cafe for dinner. Really cute cafe in Victoria Falls. And I had shrimp. Day three, another outfit. You could see elephants by the roadside. We stopped to get some gas, and this gas station had a train there. Little kids, they were so cute. Then we went over to the Painted Dog Conservation. That was really interesting. So once we went inside, this lady explained to us um, the history and the story, and it was like a Shakespearean tragedy. All the dogs keep dying because they get caught in snares, or poachers, or lions attack their dens. Um, that's something that they can wear to protect themselves from the snares. I tried to see if it would look like good jewelry. Not really. I tried to get a cool shot. <laughs> Claire ended up tying her shoes, then we went out back. These were the two painted dogs, they are so beautiful. So there were two of them, one's name's Lucky and one's name's Peanut. Lucky is lucky because at six months old, a lion mauled him, so his head kind of hangs funny, I don't know if you guys can notice. Then the other one is Peanut, he has a bum leg, I think you guys can see that. Um, so these are the only two dogs that kind of like get to interact with humans. All the other ones, like you can't. Um, they have like a little nursery full of them, but they want them to be not tame with humans so that when they release them to the wild, they're fine. Here's me trying to get a cheeky little selfie. Then we went down to Huangi Safari Lodge where we had lunch. It's a really nice hotel as well, beautiful viewing point. And that is our lunch, yum yum. Then we just hung out after, as demonstrated by Claire. They also had a pool. Then we left, we could see some hippos by the roadside and some wildebeest. And then we went down to the national park where we had a game drive. We were uh, joined by a local family. That is elephant poop, and that is elephants. He's saying hi to us. Me trying to get another selfie with the animals. Then we saw loads more hippos. So many of them. Look at that cute little baby hippo. Oh my god. This one went for a swim. Bye bye. Then we saw some giraffes. I tried to zoom up, we were kind of far, if you can't tell. <laughs> um, giraffes and zebras, they can kind of sometimes be seen grazing together just because they eat the same foods and they help each other out. One's better at listening, one's better at sight. Loads of monkeys, elephant was blocking traffic, rude. There's a watering hole, that other elephant was tickling that elephant's butt. More elephants, more giraffes, more zebras. More wildebeest, or those are buffaloes or wildebeest, I don't know. Then we went down to this viewing point, which was really, really cool. Um, it does say, please be quiet, but some of the tours there were so loud, they would just not stop being loud. But yeah, you can overlook the watering hole. At first there were only monkeys, and then suddenly all the elephants started coming in. Like, so many elephants. It was like, winter's coming, elephants are coming. They were just everywhere. So pretty, you could see them hanging out, drinking water. And I guess this because it's like sunset, so they want to get some water in before nighttime while they can still see all the prey around. So many elephants. And there's more coming! More elephants, goodness. Then we left. Some more animals, I think those are impala or could be kudu, and it was sunset. So we just finished the game drive and now we're in the car on the way back to the hotel and we're gonna play some card games. Card games are fun. Good morning everyone. Oh my gosh, this trip has been amazing so far. We've got so many activities planned for today. First of which was the helicopter ride. This was like bucket list worthy. Oh my goodness. If you go to Zimbabwe or Zambia, you definitely have to take a helicopter ride over. So first they weighed us, then they showed us the flight path. They made this little video for us. We had to purchase it later. Are you feeling happy? First time where are you from? Yeah, I'm excited. Where are you from? I'm half life, half American. Uh, UK. Okay, enjoy your flight. Okay. That's us walking towards the helicopter. The view from the helicopter honestly is so good. I don't think I captured it too well on my camera, but like you can just imagine, it's really cool. And like, I don't know, for some reason I thought the waterfalls would be like a sheer drop and then flat, but obviously it's not. It's two tectonic plates that like separated. So the water goes down on both sides, more on the Zimbabwe side than the Zambia side. Or actually the other way around, because the view is much nicer on the Zimbabwe side than it was on the Zambia side. 
there you go you can see it and at like certain points you can see a rainbow like so cool so cool there it is there's a rainbow and then even the floor was like see-through so you can see beneath you i thought that was really cool so check out the shot of the landing yes and then we walked over to well we took a bus ride over to the gorge swing this was so amazing oh my god the adrenaline so good so good there's three ways to go down just a regular standard jump or backwards or handstand so guess which way i picked off of all the adrenaline. <laughs> wow. Time for another angle. Here we go. They're literally throwing me off and I'm flopping around like a little cat or a, or a rag doll. There's me and my selfie stick. And then once you get closer to the top, you have to crawl yourself up. Well, not crawl, like you just like walk yourself up. Another angle. You also had to purchase this footage as well from them. No rag rats. After that, I went for a crocodile cage dive. Anna and Claire were not interested in this. Just me. This is probably also the first time I got my hair wet in like the four days that we were there in the beginning. Check him out, he is such a beauty. Here's me, sort of trying to get a selfie with this guy. I was so close. So there's a plexiglass between us, so it's not like I'm gonna get injured or anything. He really wanted to eat me, I think. He was like fascinated. He came over to the side because there's no plexiglass, so if I stuck my fingers out, he could definitely bite them. We did feed him, then I got to feed him. Yas, you get that meat, girl. Or boy, I don't know. I think it was a girl. The, there were two other crocs in the water as well, but they're like scared because this one's like more dominant. So they didn't come by. Another selfie with the crocodile. Check out his teeth. Ooh la la. Yeah, look at those teeth. Pretty white. And then he came up on top of the cage. So I got to pet his belly. This part was like super cool. Check it out. But like, I didn't pet him for too long. I was a little bit scared. There's the plexiglass, don't worry, I'm gonna live, I'm gonna live. Look at his feet, it's so cute! Oh my goodness, look at it, just like little, 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 all over the place. Last cheeky selfie before I gotta go. Then we went next door, there was, um, it's a brewery. So they showed us all the stuff in the brewery, those are the hops, those are the machines. And I looked like a hot mess. <laughs> I looked like a homeless lady during that uh, brewery tour. Afterwards, when we went back, we changed and everything. Then we went for a sunset cruise. The sunset cruise was gorgeous. It was so beautiful. So relaxing, so chilling. We kind of sat at the front of the boat, which was amazing because we had like a really, really good view. There's all the other tourists. There's a lot of people. And like because it's a sunset cruise on the Zambezi River, you could see the elephants on the side. Here's me taking a <laughs> selfie with the elephants. Those are all the other cruise boats. Oh, we found a cheeky little hippo. And then the sunset. was super touristic but at the same time I think it was definitely a really good experience I would definitely recommend it the food displays were just wow that's lamb that was like so yummy and then they gave us a welcome drink she explained all about it that she poured it out for us it's what the locals drank and then you wash your hands that's the classic style if you want to eat with your hands there was a lot of people here this place was like jam-packed so much good food. Did you see that? There was like kudu meat. And 
then there were people on the sides. You could buy those later. This was beef. Ah. Oh, and they had worms. So this is a worm. What else can you tell me about this? We pick it from a mopani tree. Then I give you a certificate for eating a mopani oil. You walk away a graduate for eating mopani oil. Wow. Do I have to eat the whole thing or just half? Or You eat it while you chew until it's totally crushed and you, you swallow. Okay, I'm gonna eat the whole thing. Yeah. Here we go. Okay. Wow. <laughs> now I'm writing your certificate. Thank you. Amani. A M A N I. Yeah, A M A N I. Yeah, perfect. Okay. So here we go. Congratulations, Team Paniwell. Thank you so much. The worm was fried, so it's very crunchy on the outside and like mushroomy on the inside. But if you think of a worm, you know you're eating a worm. We got some face paint done. I love it. Thank you so much. Great. Wow. The guy has skills. And then they had some dancing going on. And then they gave everybody their own individual drums. So we could join along in the little drumming circle. So that was quite fun. They even made it a bit competitive between the different sides and the different groups. It was really cool. And then there was a little dance off. Oh yeah, check this girl out. Then we all dance together at the end. They serenaded us with a lullaby. That's me the next day is how I woke up. The last cup of coffee for the day, for the trip. Happy birthday to Tamwa. It was Tamwa's birthday, so the day before Claire got him some donuts. This tree is pretty famous. Forgot why, sorry guys. This is so funny. So Anna traded in her sneakers because she ran out of money to get some stuff. We all ran out of money by the end of this trip. And then that's us going to the airport. Okay, so we're at the airport. We're gonna sign up from here. Zimbabwe was an amazing trip. What was your guys' favorite part? Uh, Hawangi National Park. Hawangi National Park. Uh, the gorge swing. The gorge swing, yeah, that was pretty sick. Okay, cool, if you guys like this video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe, bye. Gotta go back to real life now. Bye-bye-bye. Bye-bye-bye.